Hey guys, Licia from Art Defrosted again. Uh, today we are going to be doing a live stream of a pet portrait. Uh, it's one of the pop art pet portraits that I usually do. And so this little guy, Jack, uh, I'll post a picture uh, in the post um, so that I can show you a little bit more detail because I realize this doesn't show up very well. But anyway, uh, this is little Jack and uh, hello Helen. Um, cool. So what we're going to be doing is I started the basis uh, painting already. Uh, we're doing a cool little pack with Jack in the middle. Uh, we've got some onomatic here going up. Uh, some clouds, some real comic feel. Uh, this is a set of three. Uh, so there's one with the red background, there's one with the green background, and there's one with the blue background. So this is one of those. Uh, so that being said, all of the backgrounds are done similarly. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to show you how I carry on with this piece. Uh, so what you will notice is I've already done the background just with a light, basic uh, watercolor kind of feel. Uh, it looks a bit messy at the moment, but it's just because it's the first, um, it's the first layer. Uh, so nothing too messy. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't think you'll be able to see it on yet, but I'm going to start with putting in some of the oranges and the blues on Jack itself. Uh, because Jack is quite a light doggy, I'm going to use predominantly orange, and then I'm going to use a little bit of blue where the uh, highlighting, you know, like the whiter bits and the highlights are. Cool. So we're going to start with orange. Um, now this is just the first layer, so obviously after this point there's quite a bit of adjustment which ends up going on. So this is really just the base layer. There's quite a lot of layers that I do in these pop art portraits. Because uh, what I also do is I outline and then I shade a bit, uh, while well, I graduate, shade a bit after the pen is on as well. Uh, so yeah. Cool. So just a reminder, these are the standard size I do pet portraits in, and 30% of the sales of these goes through to Level SA. Uh, yeah, so it just helps raise a little bit of money for them, whilst you get a entertaining version of your little pooch. Uh, cool. So the it starts to get a little bit more interesting obviously once we start doing the outline if you watched my last um if you watched the last live stream that i did uh last week sunday um as you go along uh, my phone just froze sorry about that uh, but as you go along you start to see a little bit more definition in. Um, let me just carry on with that Hope you guys are enjoying the market so far. Uh, I was seeing that there are some pretty awesome goodies out there. Uh, this whole purple cherry dash also has these very cool mug designs in. Uh, I was just thinking about it when I was looking at my little one-up guy. I saw a very, very cool little design in the post uh, with a mug with a, a car wrap little mushroom one which is pretty cool they also have uh, some very cool stuff that shows a design which is Gotham uh, City Police Department which is also pretty cool uh, for your enemies there's actually a couple of new vendors on today as well uh, so I'm excited to see everything that comes from them uh, but keep an eye out obviously the page is running until tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock. Cool. So what you'll be able to notice is as I go through the day I'm going to post pictures, progress pictures on this post uh, until we hit half past five when I have my next post which comes up so you'll be able to see the gradual transition. It's a little bit difficult to see at the moment what's meant to be going on. Uh, but it will all start pulling together quite nicely. Uh, it's quite a nice day outside today. Uh, I'm still an inside person, so I'm quite happy to be sitting there doing my thing. Just want to keep an eye on the time, just to make sure that I don't go over. Um, 
Now, in this section over here, it's not the end of the world if you paint in an area where you don't want to paint. There are quite a lot of different layers that are going to go over this, and that's where the definition is going to start coming out. So, don't stress too much at the moment. Uh, I'm sure once you start seeing the other posts on the page um, of picture updates, you'll start seeing where we're going. Again, just a reminder, I don't use watercolor directly. I use uh, acrylic craft paints as, uh, as watercolor. I find that helps the colors pop fantastically and it's just reasonably good for me because I do solid coloring as well as uh, watercolor type coloring. Cool. Okay, um, now we're going to close off this one. Let's add a little bit of blue. I usually stick to the same kind of shade of blue and orange when I do these base colors. Uh, just for... They just tend to be the best blue shadings that I enjoy. Um, you'll see it uh, starts to blend into the rest. Obviously because it's wet on wet. Don't stress about that too much. Just make sure you... I just try and make sure that I blend it in as far as possible. So we can just open that up over there. Again, there's quite a lot of shading and colouring which is going to come in over here. The nice thing about adding the blue and orange together, you would have picked up in the previous post that I've done, is they contrast in colours, so they end up making the colours pop out really nicely. So that's what we're going for over here. Obviously I'll be able to do some white highlighting as well. Uh, at a point if required, um, just over. You don't need over too much because the nice thing about these is that they've got that comic feel to them. Uh, so it works quite nicely when all the different colours mold together. But that being said, I'm going to go over these again with different colours. That's where I'll also be showing you a little bit in the next live stream uh, how I use some of those watercolour pens that I keep on going on about because uh, they work quite effectively with these paintings as well. Ooh, so we're just going to finish off this section here quickly and then I think I'm going to end off for, the, for this section. Uh, keep an eye on the, this live stream post because I'm going to be working in pictures of our face as I go along. Uh, just very quickly before I leave Sometimes, obviously, if it's not wet on wet, uh, it creates a line, so you just need to work that in a bit and it'll come back and neaten that up as well. Cool. Uh, Helen, if you're watching, I hope you're starting to see Little Jack. Um, but yeah, we will uh, be adding more to him as we go along. Cool. Uh, so guys, I think I'm going to leave you over there. Uh, enjoy the rest of the market. Go check out what the other guys have. I have some posts coming up uh, about half past one of some goodies I have from Art Defrosted. Uh, so I'll see you then. Cool. Thanks guys. Cheers. Bye.